Hello, Pisces. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and I hope everyone is having a good week. Now, this is your intuitive tarot reading for the week of June 6th through the 12th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and help support my channel. So let's take a look at the cards and energies for your week ahead. And Pisces, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. So just take what resonates. First card, the Three of Cups. Next, the Two of Wands. And the Five of Wands. Overall energy for the week is the King of Swords. Your crystal for the week ahead, Sapphire. And your Oracle message is Between Worlds. Okay. Well, there's an energy this week, Pisces, where you might be overdoing it in some area of your life. So there's an indication that you might be taking a chance or possibly putting yourself at risk. And it can be tied to what I'm picking up like extreme energy. So first, let's take a look at your overall energy for the week ahead. And you have the King of Swords. And this is kind of like the female King of Swords in this deck, where instead of holding a large sword, she's holding a large needle up to the sky. And it's so sharp that she can pluck the shining stars from the universe, and then she sews them into her sparkling dress. So it is an indication of mental clarity and her authoritative ability to get people to listen to her and see the truth in all matters. So in this case, the stars are symbolizing the infinite knowledge that does exist in the universe. So it is about being insightful, being a quick learner, possibly solving problems. So this is your overall energy for the week. So something is going to be made very clear to you and maybe help you to stop before you go too far. That's what I'm picking up. Now, your first card here is the Three of Cups. Now, this simply means like a group of people, at least two or more people, two or more groups of people, getting together, celebrating, having some fun. And that could be possibly where the trouble could originate from this week, if there is going to be trouble. This can be maybe your closest friends, as you're seeing the hoops here are all binding these three together. So for some Pisces individuals, uh, this could even be the work environment. This could be a celebration, maybe a meet and greet, networking, kind of a work-related gathering. Definitely celebrating because I'm picking up like team spirit. But if it's not in regards to your work, it is the group that's closest to you. But with this being like getting together with a group and celebrating. There's just an energy that I'm picking up, Pisces, in regards to you, might be going overboard, maybe indulging a little bit too much, celebrating a little bit too much. That's where your overall energy, the King of Swords, kind of kicks in, where you become aware of the potential risk that you could be taking, the consequences is the best way I can put it. So this three numerology with this does indicate possibly individuals coming together. It can be in regards to teamwork. It can be just simply getting together and going out and having a great time. But there's something that's possibly has the risk of like picking up information that might come out if you overindulge. It's about the best way I can put it. So there is a caution here especially in regards to group gatherings this week, Pisces. Now, next you have the Two of Wands. This is what you're focused on, Pisces. This is planning, reviewing, contemplating. 
This could be what I'm feeling where the risk could come from, like information, maybe what you're thinking about or planning, what you want to move forward with. And it can certainly be an idea that you have Pisces and you definitely need to keep like all this information to yourself at this time. You do have several options at your disposal with this Two of Wands energy and you need to kind of figure out on your own which way you want to go. This is very powerful energy in itself because this is Aries ruled by Mars. So a very forward moving kind of energy, being assertive, taking action. But this individual here is holding everything in her hands. The earth represents everything uh, that's physical to her. And she's looking out at the moon. There's an indication here to keep your ideas, your plans to yourself this week, Pisces. And with this two numerology here, this is in regards to harmony and balance. And something will quickly go off sides for you, Pisces, if you share your plans and your ideas. So that's the biggest thing coming through. Keep everything to yourself. Now, looking here at your next card is why, Pisces. This is the Five of Wands. And looking at this card, this woman is facing five opponents while playing a chess match, which this is her skirt. It's patterned like a chessboard, and the other figures of the game are moving towards her. And each one has a strong opinion, desire, a different strategy, and they want to win. So she's struggling to find the right move now. This is the card of competition, which can spark excitement, but it can be a distraction as well, as everyone is self-focused and winning the game. So what I'm picking up, Pisces, as we get further into the reading, is you could be out in some kind of gathering, celebrating, it could be work-related. It could be with your friends. There is something where you have some special idea, plans, a strategy. Even in regards to what you're focused on, what you want to go after. And you really need to keep this to yourself. As I see, there is a risk of it falling into the wrong hands is what I'm picking up. Somebody else will end up taking your idea. Everything that you hold precious here, as you see on the Two of Wands, and they will run with it. So definitely getting a message to play your cards very close to the vest, Pisces. Now your crystal for the week is Sapphire, and it says easy does it. It says your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So this is kind of a warning to not go to extremes, and I just keep picking up maybe an overindulgence. Now, this could be in regards to what you consume. This can be in regards to your communication and possibly like the two things combined. That's what's going to put you at risk in regards to what you have planned for yourself. So definitely this can be socializing, partying. It's an indication here to keep your balance. And it's very apparent here with the two of wands that you are extremely focused upon the future and to be careful, pay attention to the here and now. There can be a situation or the perfect storm, you might say Pisces, where things can just come out and you will regret sharing that information with others. So. Easy does it is the crystal card sapphire's message this week. Now your oracle message between worlds. This is what you got to be careful of. That's exactly where you are right now. You are currently in the here and now and you have a strategy, plans, information in regards to your future. So you're kind of in this transition not being out of the one situation or fully into the next. So you're really not sure as to what's up ahead as things have to play out. And that's why you don't want to tip your hand and give out any information as to what you've been thinking about or planning 
or making a strategy. So definitely a card indicating here about being careful in regards to gambling with whatever information is important to you. Remain cautious, Pisces, because there is what I'm picking up like a, a right timing, a divine timing, a combination of timing and luck that you're going to succeed with what it is you're holding here, the world. So I'm picking up for some Pisces individual in your excitement and maybe overindulgence that you might let go of some information in regards to what you're planning. And once you do, you're going to realize this was um, a huge mistake. So this is a huge message to keep your plans, your strategy, what you're working on to yourself. And this Between Worlds card is simply, you have to be quiet in the here and now, even though you see the potential of what your future will bring. Now your tea leaf fortune cards for the week ahead, you actually had two cards come out and you have Fan, Romance Celebration Party, and you have Skull, Hidden Secrets Can Harm You. An indication here, Pisces, precisely what the cards are indicating. There's a lot of competition around you in regards to maybe what you want to pursue, what you're planning. And with the Three of Cups here, this is getting together, some kind of gathering. So it certainly could be like a meet and greet. It could be a workplace gathering, convention, an after work party. Your King of Swords this week is an energy of trying to keep your wits about you, your mental clarity, and your Sapphire Crystal card is telling you easy does it as there is a risk here of the competition, which is anybody else around you, Pisces, could get hold of your information, which could be your ideas, and then take them for themselves. So we have fan, which is indicating some kind of celebration or party that you might be attending. And if you overindulge, you could be then tapping into this energy. You could be releasing some secrets, which is in regards to what you have planned. And it could be something really important in regards to an idea of what you're going to go after. And there's a definite energy here of someone else stealing that idea and making it their own. And that directly ties into the Five of Wands or the competition card. So main message this week, do things in moderation. Keep your plans, your strategies, what you're thinking about for your future. Play those cards close to the vest. As there's a hidden influence here where some information could get out and that will put you at risk and that risk will end up being losing that opportunity, that chance for what you've been planning for your future. Well, there you have it, Pisces. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, and for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.